hi hello welcome or oh, welcome back if you're an old timer and you've been around here for a while if you're new before i get started let's give you the sales pitch shall we if you're on you i'm lucy i'm a mum of four on this channel i share all sorts of stuff day in the life chatty videos Today I'm going to be sharing a haul with you and everything in between. I would love to have you subscribed and if you're not already then the little subscribe button underneath where I am will be showing up as red so make sure that you click on it so that you don't miss future content. Thanks. I would love it if you would. You're a darling. As I just said I'm going to be sharing a haul today. I don't know if it's just me. I'm sure it can't just be me but in the summer I'm not really bothered about stuff around the house. I tend to be really focused on the garden and making the garden feel nice and just being out and enjoying ourselves but I always feel like as soon as the autumn kicks in I kind of get really like homey and like nesty and I want to make all the house feel nice and cosy and look lovely and I always feel like it gets a bit neglected in the summer because we don't tend to be here as much but I have definitely been kind of feeling that desire to kind of get some more jobs done around the house and that sort of thing. So that has meant I've bought housey stuff. And then I've just been whipping around the house collecting up because some of the bits were in situ and some of the bits aren't in situ yet. But I've whipped round and brought it all together and there is tons of it. I didn't realise quite how much I have bought lately. Lots of little knick-knacky bits and pieces. I think I will probably go room by room with it because I have been doing over our master bedroom, doing over our ensuite, and then I've also got plans to do some stuff in the kitchen, and some of the stuff is for the kitchen, and I think it probably would be easier to do it room by room. There is a bit of a theme, it does all match. It's very much monochrome with plants. That's clearly a vibe I'm feeling at the moment. So if monochrome and plants and a homey halls is your kind of thing, you have come to the right video. Let me crack on because there is quite a lot of it to get through. Maybe grab yourself a brew, you might be here a while. Right, I'm going to start with stuff for our master bedroom. So we painted our master bedroom ages ago, but I never got round to doing like the knick-knacky bits and pieces to make it feel finished. So first up I have got this plant, which is from IKEA. It is a faux plant. Tell me in the comments below whether you are a faux or a real plant kind of girl. I love a faux plant in the house. I'm really good with plants, like real plants, in the garden. I look after them really well and they seem to flourish. House plants, not so much. So I am sticking with faux plants in the house. This one was from Ikea. It didn't come in the pot. The pot came separately and was also from Ikea. But it's just kind of like a grassy plant. And I quite like the fact it's got different shades of green in it. It's kind of lighter bits and darker bits, which I feel adds some dimension to it. I don't know if you can see clearly on the pot. I think the light in here is making it look a bit more like white or blue. It's actually, the pot is grey. It's got like a really nice... Um, like texture to it that makes it adds a bit of interest and it's really cute. So it's on my windowsill in our bedroom. This is another plant I have bought for our bedroom. I have not managed to get this up yet, but it's one of those like hanging ones. The main reason I've not put it up yet is I'm actually not entirely sure how to hang it. Like I know how to hang it, I need to hang it from a hook. But I'm kind of like, do I hang it all the way up in the ceiling? Because is that not going to be a bit high up. I'm a bit undecided. So at the moment, it's just been sitting on my windowsill. This was from Sainsbury's of all places. There's actually quite a lot of Sainsbury's bits in here. I find Sainsbury's often really nail it on the interior stuff. And there are quite a few bits here that I've got there from Sainsbury's. And I thought this was really lovely. I liked the kind of concrete -y type feel to the pot. And then I thought the plant looked really cool. So yeah, that was a Sainsbury's find. I've got another Sainsbury's plant here. This one is in a slightly fancier pot. Another faux plant. Um, I like the fact that this one had kind of like the stony stuff here that I guess makes it look a little bit more real. This has been sitting on a dresser in our bedroom. I really liked the kind of, I don't know what you'd call it. It's kind of like tribal type print. Quite a few of the bits I have picked up from Sainsbury's, most of them are for our ensuite, have kind of got that tribally vibe to them. They've got quite a lot of that kind of stuff in at the moment. But I thought that this was, I quite liked the contrast of the colour and then the bright green looks really cool because our bedroom is, is a grey kind of colour and then it's got kind of black and white and then green accents in there. This one, 
I seem to think I picked up for a tenner. I don't think it was supposed to be a tenner. I, my local shop doesn't sell tons of homeware. They just have like a small section. And I think they were clearing it because they were putting the Christmas stuff out. So they'd reduced loads of stuff. And then when I went to one of our biggest Sainsbury's nearby to get some more homey stuff, it was all still full price in there. So I think I managed to get myself a bit of a bargain there. And one more faux plant for our bedroom was this one. This one I picked up in TK Maxx. Or was it HomeSense? I mean, it's the same difference, isn't it? TK Maxx and HomeSense. But I thought this was really pretty. And it's really cool because you can kind of bend the leaves kind of stay in the shape that you put them in. And I just thought this was a really interesting, funky looking plant. And again, it's got that kind of concrete type pot. And this is sitting on my dresser in my bedroom as well. One other thing that we picked up for the dresser in our bedroom, something I'll be inserting a clip for because I didn't want to move it because it was a bit too big, is this new lamp. We picked this up in Ikea and it is now, I think, officially my pride and joy. It's got that kind of tripod shape. I really love that it's not 100% black. It's kind of like a dark brown to the wood. Um, I love the tripod shape. We've got this big shade to go with it in there as well. But I mainly love the fact that it is dimmable. And it means I can have a nice cosy light in our bedroom at bedtime. Or a nice bright light when we're getting up in the morning if we need it. I'm still on the topic of plants, but I am moving on to ensuite stuff now. So I picked up this little set of faux succulents from Ikea. These were so cheap. I want to say they were like, were they a pound each? Or were they £1.50 for all three? They were really cheap anyway. I mean, they are little in little plasticky pots and they are only dinky. But I bought these for our ensuite. They're perfect fit in there you're not looking at them too closely i mean they don't look like they're massively real looking but they add that nice little pop of green and they look really really cute these are sitting on a shelf that is hanging on the wall so i'm going to insert a clip here of the shelf which i picked up from sainsbury's again i wanted somewhere to just put trinkety little bits and pieces to add kind of area of interest in our ensuite it's very much in that monochrome and wood vibe that i seem to be feeling at the moment and it was just it does exactly what i wanted it to do just somewhere to house pretty stuff you have just seen these in that little clip that i have just inserted here these were also from sainsbury's again it's got that kind of like i said with the plant earlier there's a lot of this kind of like tribal type print stuff in there at the moment these are both candles these i picked up super super cheap i've got a couple of these one of them lives in my bedroom one of them lives in the ensuite and this one is also a candle except this one is a little bit bigger and it has a lid on it they just look really sweet on the side and they do have quite a nice smell to them so they kind of add a nice smell in the bathroom as well which is quite sweet and i figured i should show you this as well this is part of the same range and it's a reed diffuser I am a massive fan of a reed diffuser. How about you? I just feel like they give you the best bang for your buck when it comes to kind of room sense. And I thought this pot was really cute because it matched all the other bits and pieces. If you haven't had a drink, maybe now's a good time. Okay, the last few bathroom bits are matching. So I picked up this pot to keep our toothbrushes in and the matching soap dispenser. I have never had a fancy soap dispenser before. I've always been one of those people that either buys a relatively pretty soap with the disposable dispenser, or I just use like whatever little pump lid soap comes with it. I feel like such a grown up that I've got a proper soap dispenser now. So fancy. And now I think about it, the green credentials of not having all those yucky plastics to throw away every single time because I now get the refillable soap and there's a place near us that has just opened where you can literally take in your own containers and fill up with stuff like this so i might start using that to reduce on our plastics but i feel very grown up having these on my sink and then i mean it's a toilet brush but it matches i mean i don't feel like i need to tell you a lot about a toilet brush but it looks pretty and it matches and it sits next to the sink so it's nice that it goes and those bits were all from sainsbury's Right, let's move on to the mammoth amount of kitchen stuff that I have bought. A little bit of kind of pre-story as to why I have so much kitchen stuff. We are about to remove 
um, a cupboard in our kitchen and on that wall we're going to have some big open shelving we're going to have um scaffold type shelves and we're going to have lots of jars and bits and pieces um hopefully it'll give us a little bit more storage but it'll also be a nice place that i can kind of tinker around and make it look pretty but the main thing i want to do with that shelf is it needs to be functional so we wanted to use it as a space to store like dry goods like pasta and rice and sugar and tea and coffee and like biscuits and all that sort of thing so i have bought lots of nice jars to keep all of those in and some plants and some baskets and some other bits and pieces i'm really excited to get these shelves up not quite sure when we're doing them yet but i'm i will definitely be sharing on my instagram when they are up if you're not following on instagram maybe you should so you don't miss out um, but let me crack on all of the bits that are coming now are from ikea Let's start off with this basket. Now I don't have prices, but these do all have the labels on, so I can tell you the names. This is called that called the Hantwerk. Um, I don't actually really know what I bought this for. I just wanted to break up all the jars that I've bought are in glass with wooden lids. So I just wanted to kind of add some other texture so it wasn't all glass. I think probably I will use this to put things like serviettes in perhaps or just those odd bits and pieces that you end up with in the kitchen things like birthday candles and elastic bands and those little peg things that you put on crisps when you're halfway through a big bag i'm just going to use it for random assortment of stuff but i thought it was really nice i like the kind of texture of it i bought another one of these grassy plants one of these little succulent plants and then this one so i bought three different plants these are i don't know what this one's called but the others are the vegka i'm not quite sure how we pronounce um they were really really cheap and cheerful i just wanted some green to kind of break up again break up all the the glass and kind of add a bit of texture for these though i bought different pots so these have got these little stainless steel plots to go in because I thought that they would look quite cute and kind of industrial in the kitchen. So that's them all in their pots. I think they're going to look really nice just kind of breaking up some of the glass of the jars. I'm running out of place to put things down. And I nearly lost my hot chocolate in amongst all the plants for a minute then. Everything else is pots. They're all very similar. So I'm going to try and whip through these as quickly as I can. So I have got these big pots here. Ah, I found the receipt. I might be able to tell you what some of them cost. But these, basically, I went for all different jars from the IKEA 365 Plus range. So basically, the idea is there are all sorts of different shapes and sizes of jar, but the lids fit on all of them so they kind of match without matching so i bought these bigger pots to put things like pasta biscuits um just sort of bigger stuff and stuff that we have store a lot of i quite like the kind of classic they're very kind of traditional shape kind of remind me a bit of like the old-fashioned milk urn shape i can't get the lid to fit on probably because it's still wrapped up but it seals really really nicely and it's obviously got a nice simple wooden lid that goes on the top so I bought two of those bigger ones. The next size down is like these ones. So let me put hold them both up so you can see for the size comparison. So it's got straight sides. It's um, as much smaller shape. I think we're going to use these for normal rice, like risotto rice. Uh, there was something else we were going to put in these. I made a list. And again, it's the same lids and they all fit on really nicely. I think I've got about four or five of those. We've got a lot of things that we we're going to put in this size of jar. Then the next size down, again, I'll show you the comparison, is again, obviously the top of them is the same because the lids all fit, but this one is obviously much smaller and it's got a different shape to it. So it kind of is narrower at the bottom. But we're going to use these slightly smaller ones, things like sugar and tea and coffee. And I've got a couple of the absolute smallest size, which... Uh, as you can see much smaller and again it's the same lid i think we were going to put i think we might have actually been putting coffee in these ones because we don't actually drink coffee we only have it for guests so we don't need to store tons of it and then lastly just for a bit of interest i bought a square one they're fogging up they've been sitting in my garage ready to go in the kitchen 
And again, they've got the same wooden lids, but they're square. The thing that's really nice about the 365 range is that all of these are not only dishwashable, but they're oven proof. So if I get to a point where I suddenly decide I don't necessarily want them out on the sides, they're still pots that we can totally use for cooking with or making food with generally. So I thought they were kind of really classic and that they'll last us for ages. And they're just a really, really, reasonable way of storing stuff so all of the jars were really cheap i'm just having a look now at the receipt to see how much they were but they were all sort of like two three four pounds they weren't very much the lids i think were two pounds each so it's a really cheap and cheerful way of storing everything and the other thing about this range is you can actually have different lids so i chose all the wooden lids but you can have glass lids or you can have plastic clip-on lids which i just thought was a really useful thing so that you can kind of diversify how you use the bits and pieces that you buy so i think we can agree i bought a lot of house stuff lately i've now also completely surrounded myself with house stuff so i might be trapped here for a while um, i hope you enjoyed seeing what i have been getting lately and obviously let me know if you have seen a places where you can get good quality, not too expensive faux plants from, because clearly I can never have too many of those. And also let me know your kind of kitchen storage ideas because I'm really looking forward to playing around with my open storage and my kind of open shelving. I think it's gonna be really fun to kind of tinker around with that's as a new kind of space in our kitchen thank you so much for watching if you have stuck with me this long you deserve some kind of medal because that was a long old haul of a lot of stuff um i will see you again for another video really soon thanks for watching everyone